I've got a quick condo market update for you, and the numbers aren't as bad as I was expecting to see. You know, on the the uh, the full metro area with single family homes, the you know everything included, um, the numbers are a little more shaky compared to what we're seeing on the condo market. It's not the boom that we were experiencing of somewhere around the beginning of February to about mid March where there was a lot of activity on the condos, on condos, a lot of buyers out, a lot of offers getting written, and in some cases, buyers getting beaten out in multiple offer situations. That is over, but the market is still kind of holding steady. Um, so the number of active listings, uh, last time I checked a couple weeks ago, it was 238, this time it's uh, 242. That's not bad. That's, you know, within the realm of, of normal, um, you know, not too much of a swing there. The number of pending deals, so our, our measure of demand, uh, is still pretty strong. Last, a couple weeks ago, it was 99. Right now, it's 107. That's not bad. It's actually moving up. I like that. Um, when, I, when I look at the um, rate of sales uh, versus the number of active listings, so what we call our inventory in months, given no new listings, how long would it take to sell everything on the market at the current rate of sales? That number came in at 2.99, so three months of inventory. Most analysts consider about four to six months of inventory to be a balanced market, neither a buyer's nor a seller's market. Some analysts say it's six months, some say it's four, somewhere in that range it's there. And here we are, three months of inventory. Looks good, it's not gonna feel great if you're trying to sell right now, um, we're having to go back to the same conversations we had with sellers about a year ago, six months ago, where uh, we would say, hey, you know, when we're gonna list your property, we're not gonna get a whole bunch of offers and we're not gonna get a whole bunch of showings. We may be on the market for three to four weeks and we may only have four to six showings. But what we do know about the buyers who are out looking at condos right now, they are serious buyers, they are not tire kickers. And one of those four to six uh, buyers may be our buyer and we may go under contract. So um, we're talking about having patience with the market, um, being aggressive with our marketing, with our, um, with our pricing. You can't, you can't get aggressive with the pricing. You have to be careful about that. Um, but we can still sell. I mean, buyers are still interested in purchasing condos. We sell them all the time, as you can see by the numbers. Um, the one thing that I thought was really good uh, was that the average sale price was looking better than it had been. So the year to date, so comparing the first three months of, of um, 2021 to first three months of 2022, when we last did that number, it was low. I mean, it was depreciation. The average sale price was lower uh, than we had been seeing the previous year. And finally, um, once I take April and put April into that calculation, the numbers are up and we're up 1.3%. Um, so we went up from 513 to about 519. Not a huge jump, but I'll take it. It's better than, than, than depreciation. Um, however, when I look at the last 30 days, what the average sale price was versus the previous report. Previous report, it came in at 536. That was a couple weeks ago that I did that. Uh, last 30 days, 591. That's a lot better. So it feels like some bigger ticket condos are s selling and that's pulling the, the price point up. Um, so that's what I have for condominiums. Again, this is just condos only. These are close in condos, the river to the hills, North Pearl down to the South waterfront. Uh, if you're curious about what's going on elsewhere, uh, feel free to reach out to me or if you have any questions or thoughts or different experiences, um, feel free to post them down in the, the uh, comments below. And then of course, I'd love it if you would like, um, subscribe or even share this video. All right, we'll talk to you soon.